After furnace installation, ensure that all wiring and power supply are in place before operation. Now let me introduce how to use Simu vacuum furnace. Open the door of electric control couplet. Turn on the power. Now furnace is fully powered on. After closing the door, turn on the power switch. Next, let me introduce several parts of the control cabinet. Above is our three-phase power indicator. When the power is on, the indicator always goes on. The next is heating warmeter and heating emitter. If equipment falls and the display is abnormal, means the equipment may be short-circuited. Here is a temperature control meter, which is used to control the temperature, generally without user operation, or temperature control can be carried out directly on the touch screen. The position is a vacuum gauge, which is used to detect and display the vacuum degree in the furnace. The change of the vacuum degree can be shown by numerical value. D means 10, 3 means minus 3. Here is our main interface touch screen. Here is emergency stop button. In case of emergency, you can turn on the switch and press the button to stop the operation of the furnace. Next, let me introduce the use and operation of the touch screen. When we get the furnace, the initial picture looks like this. The, the user log in, enter the main interface, edit the user, and log out. First, we need to press user log in. The initial stage is no need to set a password. You can directly click to enter. Second step, click to enter the main interface. Return to main screen by clicking the last button. If customer wants to edit their password, they can click edit user to edit it. After set, then exit. Now we can enter the main interface. Our operation interface is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 modules. The first module is history curve, which is used to record the process graph. There are 6 graphs. When we want to display one of the graph, we just enter the corresponding graph number at this position. For example, vacuum degree graph, we choose number 6. Click OK. Click Show to display the graph. Click Hide to hide the graph. There is a USB port on the back of the device. You can prepare a USB flash disk to plug in. When we need to download and print a graph, we can click this button. The graph is saved on a USB flash disk. The second module is our control interface. 
The upper part of the control interface displays the real-time temperature of three water coolant electrodes. Below is the lowest furnace temperature. You can set the temperature here. Only reach the temperature you set, then the furnace door can be opened. The following location is an optional preset process. How to set the process? We will talk about it later. The following position shows the cooling water temperature. The first position is the cooling inlet water temperature. The second position is cooling water outlet temperature. The third module is the pressure display. The first is furnace pressure. The second is inlet water pressure. On the left is the nitrogen and argon controls. This is nitrogen flow meter and argon flow meter. This position shows the current nitrogen flow and the following one shows the argon flow. We can control percentage of nitrogen argon by sliding slide to control the gas flow. Same thing here. The position of our device is the vacuum gauge display, which is consistent with the volume of vacuum gauge on the control cablet. This control button is furnace lock ring. Click here to lock it. The lock ring open button as below. Here is door cylinder controls L door opening and the door cylinder controls L door closing. Above is control button of degreasing fan and degreasing valve. Simacouple out, simacouple in. When the temperature is more than 1000 degrees centigrade, the simacouple needs to be removed. The infield temperature measurement is adopted. When the temperature is lower than 1000 degrees centigrade, the simacouple is used to measure the temperature. The position is control button for deflection valve, microcharge valve, charge valve, and vacuum gauge valve. When we are vacuuming, we need to open the vacuum gauge valve. When we do not vacuum but the waxing, we need to close in the vacuum gauge valve. Here is the temperature display in the furnace. The position is the button for heating. After set the process, click here for heating. Here is the vacuum system, the dewaxing system. There is a wax trap on the dewaxing system, which needs to be opened to let the wax into the dewaxing tank. The vacuum valve needs to be opened when vacuuming. Pipe deflection valve, roots pump, vacuum pump valve 2. This valve is interlocked with a magnetic pump to open and close without operation. There is a deworking valve 2. When dividing, it is necessary to close the vacuum valve. Open the vacuum valve too and use the magnetic pump for dividing. 
The third module is state setting. After customer has obtained the mature process step through the manual operation, you can contact engineers to help you remotely control and set parameters. After this part is set up, automatic operation program of vacuum furnace can be used. The fourth module is state monitoring, which can see how the device is running. The fifth module is alarm browsing. When the furnace falls, the problem is shown here. It should be noted that in case of over temperature and over pressure, the emergency stall button must be pressed to protect the equipment and safety. If it's not either of them, but something else, you can check the failures and make adjustment first. The sixth module is process setting. Step one, edit process. Step two, add process. Step three, edit process name. Step four, set process temperature and process time. We can set different process time and temperature according to the process needs. A maximum of 20 segments can be set. Step 5. After we set up the process, click Save and Exit are saving. Step 6. Choose your process. Click OK. When we select it, we will find the process. What we just set will appear here. The corresponding temperature and time. Process number one is shown here. The process name you just set is shown here. Here is total program time. Here is total amount remaining time after operation. Here is current running segment number. Here is remaining time of current segment. Look at this position, place bell note, connecting to next segment and end process. Please click and select according to actual situation. Step 7, click process transfer and process will be transferred to PLC and temperature control system. In this way, the PLC will accept our instructions, but instructions have not been executed. And now we have completed the process setting, but we still need to do next step. After process setting, Go back to main interface. When you do not have mature process, manual operation is required. You need to connect heating and uh, operate the vacuum pump, vacuum valve manually and a series of operations. For example, first operation the vacuum, then operation the heating. The vacuum system will keep vacuuming. If you need to do at the certain temperature, 